Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between the Shark Professional Navigator Liftaway and the Bissell Clean View Swivel Pet Vacuum Cleaner. So the Shark normally retails for $200. I did buy my Shark uh, used on Amazon for $130. The Bissell, it retails for $120 and it's on sale for $100. Okay, so I'm going to talk about both vacuum cleaners, then we're going to vacuum carpet and hardwood floors and see how both of them do. So first thing, both of them have a really big container. The Bissell might have a little bit bigger container to hold the dirt and debris, but the Sh Shark does have a HEPA filter underneath here. The Bissell does not have a HEPA filter, but it does have a filter system that I'm going to show you. Over here on the Bissell, now I can adjust the height that the brush head is above. So for hardwood floors, I can go lower, and for really tall carpet, I can go higher. I like to go right in the middle. The Shark does not have a height adjustment, but I can turn the, br the brush on and off. I can go to bare floor and the brush and then the brush doesn't come on for hardwood floor, but for carpet, the brush does turn. The Bissell is a little bit easier to undo. Take this over to the trash can. You're going to press that button right there and everything's going to come out the bottom. The Shark, you got two latches. So you're going to do this latch and this latch. You're going to take this whole thing over to the trash can. You're going to press that button on the front and everything will come out the bottom of this. The Shark, you do have two filters here that you have to clean. Now you can rinse these out and make sure these are nice and dry before you put them back in. On the Bissell, it does have this little nice indicator. It's gonna turn red when you start to lose suction. So you're gonna lift this up. There's a filter in here. You're gonna to have to clean this one. So you have two filter systems. You've got this filter and this. Again, you can rinse these out, make sure they're nice and dry, and then you're gonna put them back in. The Shark also has a light here. It's gonna be green when your roller brush is turning at the proper speed. If it's flashing red, that means it's overheated. As far as the bristle brush, if it's red steady, that means it's clogged. So here's the bottom of the shark. You can see it's got a roller brush. The Bissell's definitely got a little bit cl a bigger cleaning area that it's gonna do. Now the Bissell, this is where you're gonna release it so that it'll come over center. And this is your power switch. So you're gonna turn it on or off, that's all it has, with your foot. And the Bissell does have an eight amp motor. The shark does have a 10 amp motor. And again, it switches up here. This is how you're gonna turn it on and off. Okay, so the Bissell, we've got some different attachments we can attach. You're gonna take it apart right here. This is where you're gonna put those other attachments on. And then when you're done, you've gotta put this back on here so it draws the suction from the bottom. Over here on the Shark, I can take the handle off right here. I can put my attachments on and do some cleaning there. It's also lift away. So I can press this button right here. I can lift this whole unit away, take it to wherever I need to go, do some cleaning. I can even undo this wand when the cord's off of it. I can take the wand off and use the wand. When you're done, you're simply gonna take it over here, put it on there till it snaps on. Okay, so I got a bunch of coffee grounds. I got some dog hair and some big cereal chunks. Let's see how each one does. Okay, they're both doing a good job. The shark's a little bit easier to move on the carpet. And the shark steers a little bit easier. But the Bissell definitely has a bigger cleaning head. Now they both did a good job cleaning this. So the Bissell's probably a little bit faster because it does have a bigger cleaning head. I felt like the shark was a little easier to push on the carpet and swiveled a little better, but they both did a good job of getting the carpet clean. Okay, so let's empty each one here. I've got the Bissell. Press this button, take it over the trash can, release it. So it did a good job, everything came out. Close it, put it back on. Shark, a couple more steps. You're gonna reduce, undo these latches, take it over here, press the button and everything comes out. Looks like it did a good job. Close it, put it back on, do the latches. Okay, I got some coffee, some dog hair, and some big cereal chunks. Let's see how both of them do.
Okay, so for me, it's gonna come down, I do like the Shark. I bought these products with my own money. I felt like that was money well spent, buying it used on Amazon. Again, when it's $200, that is kinda high. You know, it is twice the price of the Bissell. The Bissell does a really good job. Just a few more manual features as far as raising and lowering it, um, and it does a, a lot bigger area surface that it cleans. But overall, the Bissell feels a little bit cheaper. I mean, you can tell it's definitely cheaper. The Shark does feel a little, the construction of it feels a little bit more solid. I'll put a link to both of these in the show description notes. And if you check out my other video, Walmart's got one that's identical to this. It's green and it's down to $77 already. It was around 100, then it went to 87. It's at 87, now it's at 77. It's, I got a video that shows they're exactly the same. So if you could hit that thumbs up button, I really appreciate everybody's support. And thanks everybody for watching.